Alright guys and girls, Shadi back for another update. As promised, I'm just going to show you this automatic water change which should be starting uh, literally in about a minute. So, um, yeah, um, I'll talk you through when it starts, but basically this is my, um, my main drain pipe which is connected to the self-priming pump over in the water storage area. Um, I'm only going to do a little one here, I can adjust this later, but I'm only going to do a little one, probably probably barely even below this mark here, um, just to conserve a bit of water. So it started, I can hear the self-priming pump has just kicked in, so now it's draining water from the system. So what it's going to do, it's going to keep draining water until these basically these black weirs uh, are no longer visible meaning the water is no longer flowing into the sump and as that gets less and less you'll see this is basically lowering now my levels in this uh, area and when it hits this section here it's going to turn the return pump off these MP40s will go off too so there it is, return pump is turning off MP40s have turned off let me focus on that so and now this is this level here is just going to sit at a certain level. This is continuing to drain water now from the system. As you can see, the water's just getting below this line. It is pretty speedy. Obviously, eventually I will get it to go down to about this level, which should give me a 20% water change. Now, what happened also is when this was switched off, and there was a delayed on of the fill pump, which, as you can see, is just going to come on now. The fill pump basically had a delayed on of 30 seconds. So that's basically gonna start filling the tank again now. Um, obviously this level in here is just gonna remain still until that fill pump there um, gets over the black weirs over there and starts draining down into the sump and raising the level in here. So basically when that happens, this final float switch here is going to kick in it's going to turn the return pump back on it's going to turn the mp40s back on and it's going to turn off this pump that's bringing the water into there so like i say it took me a few hours today just to basically program this and get it right and i do want to add some extra safety features to it um extra timers to prevent a disaster basically um, but it is working so pretty soon I'm hoping I've got enough water left to do this actually but pretty soon the water will start draining over the weirs it's almost getting there now um, and start filling in this sump area um, now like you know like I said before I actually the whole the idea of this is to do a 20% water change so about here um, maybe even there um, but that's just going to waste a lot of water at the moment so I'm just testing on this little one and it's easy for me to change the times um, accordingly to drain as much or as little as I want so as you can see the the sump is starting to raise now we can hear the water trickling back into the into the sump as it's gone you can see the black waves are showing a little bit and it's overflowing into there so basically as you can see it's filling up and when it hits this point where I've marked pump on, it's round about there, that's when it will kick in, turn the return pumps back on the MP40s and turn that off. Um, and that will be it basically. Um, totally automated and I can time that um, to go whenever I want, say every two to three weeks. Or I can do it manually, do a manual start and I can basically do that. Um, all I've got to make sure that I do for that is just keep the salt um, storage tank in, in the storage room full with salt water um, at all times just to basically make sure it's ready to go which shouldn't be too hard of a job as you can see now this basically this level is about to nearly getting to the point where it's going to switch back on switch the return pump back on and what's great is when it turns the return pump back on obviously this level lowers back down to the normal point which is my normal uh, level um, I did have to do a few other mods on the return pipes. There you go, it's just kicked in, the return pump's kicked in. MP40s have come back on and the salt fill has turned off. So there's no more salt filling the system. And basically, 
that's it obviously if you can see the sump now will be lowering down it's lowering 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 back to my normal point which is about here and that's it systems running again um, and the ATO is enabled in fact that's one thing I have to do disable the ATO during this not a biggie um, and add a few extra timers but really happy with that because I've just done an automatic salt water change which is one of the the main things I set this system up to do um, to avoid those kind of hassles so really happy it's all working nicely um, any comments just leave them underneath and thanks for watching and this is Shadi signing out